We'll get it together. <laughs> Lent, Lent just started, and that means Meatless Fridays. Now, I know it's Thursday, but we're getting a head start with one of the best fish places in town, the fish market, and the best fishmonger is Darren Gorski. He's back. We go back years. Yes, thank you. Yes, so it's so good it's to... nice to be here. Yes. It's good to see you. I can't believe a year has gone by already since we were here doing the same thing for Lent last year. Exactly, yeah. We did it five segments. We did. Yeah, we did nice I know. Segments. Well, I can't believe as I'm, I'm watching you guys set this whole thing up. I mean, this is a smorgasbord <laughs> of fish. And by the way, can I touch him? Absolutely. This is, I mean, this guy's right here. I want to take him home as a pet, baby. Yeah. And that's a boy, by the way. That yeah. What's a, how do you know that's a boy? I don't uh, know how to tell yeah, the yeah, difference. How, there we go. how can you tell? All right. Well, I'm turning around real quick. And if you look at the tails. Oh, they're mooning the camera. That's nice. Good morning. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a broader tail on the uh, female and a little bit skinnier tail because they have to carry the eggs. But if there's one lobster in a tank, you don't know what it is. You have to turn it upside down. These little finlets, little feelers that are underneath right here, yeah. they're real fragile, so they bend back. On a male, they don't. So, so this is wider on the female? Yes. So you're saying baby got back. That's awesome. You got it. So and on, on this one, you can t look at the finlet here. They don't bend back at all, so they're yeah. real stiff. Yeah, Did so you know all this, Linda? Well, I do now. So. And then he was even saying the difference between uh, well, how, the scallops, how right? How old are these? I uh, one. I don't know, because they live to be really old, don't they? hundred. <laughs> They're about twelve years old. Twelve years old. For every they... pound, it's about six years. Wait a oh, second. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so how long do lobsters, lobsters live since she just said that? Okay, I've I've seen a lobster live probably about one hundred and fifty years. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. You don't really want the really yeah. old big ones. No, though, so they much. catch them in the traps when they're dredging yeah. for scallops and things like that. So they don't crawl into the trap because they're too big. First of all, they're not allowed to take them either. So you know, it's not often that I wear rubber gloves. So what do we do? We're, what are we going to cut up here? Okay, well I'm going to cut this uh, local California halibut right here. Oh my gosh, and halibut uh, is so good. Hold that right. And there. part of this too, I mean, you guys do this all the time. It's you really want to know that you're selecting fresh fish, you right? You can't even yeah. really smell it. Tell. That's the key. If you could, if you were you in the, the studio colors. with us. Yeah, you it's know. all so fresh. Yeah, you can't smell anything. No. No. All right, ready? So what we're going to do is go around the gill plate. This will take like... Move this out of your way. There you go. You see how, look how smooth you are I with know. that. Oh, <laughs> does it take a long time to really know, you know, did it take you a long time to learn how to do this? Well, I worked on the boats on the East Coast, so I had a lot of fish. They gave me all the trash fish to cut, you know, so oh, this way. Did. That's that was how, how you started out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's the, the so one side right as there. As you're cutting this, I mean, can folks like me and Linda, just, you know, kind of the average people who, who really enjoy fish, is there a way for us to look in the store even? And I mean, we want to come to your place, right, of course, right. but we're not going to eat out every single night. Right. So is there something to identify with that it's fresh and it's good and that's what yeah. you want? Well, the clarity of the, the meat right here, you can see how nice and uh, clear it is. And, you know, it's not, you know, it's just that translucent look, you know, on, on the fish itself, on the tunas that we have up there. It's a nice cherry red. You know, look at the blood. Look at the tuna up there. Yeah. That is huge. Oh, I'm drooling over that. So I can't nice imagine the fisherman line. that had to fight that one. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> My goodness. Um, and that's right, how I think you I'm going to move to your other side here there next to Linda, because you are working here, man. You are, and I'll move on your side here. You can have the middle so, if you want. So is it right halibut there. season then? Because I know that uh, sometimes when you come in, it hasn't quite been. But well, you know, California halibut season is all year round. Mm -hmm. But the good part is the Alaskan halibut season starting on March 18th, and everybody loves that big, large, flaky uh, Alaskan halibut, which this is a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller flake, a little bit denser, but at the same time, this is a really good fish too. But everybody can't wait for Alaskan halibut season. Yes. So, but real quick, I'll just show you uh, what we have here too. We have uh, Pacific Red Snapper. We have the, uh, the live Maine lobsters. We have uh, black mussels. Ooh. We have U-12 uh, sea scallops or U-10 sea Those scallops. Are nice wait, that's a, too. Uh, that's a girl or a boy? Um, <laughs> If you look over Wait, here, what? there's orange and white. See, Ar yeah, the, orange the orange ones. are the females and the white are the males. So, <laughs> would never taste something difference. new every day, there, right? <laughs> no. Then yeah. we have Honduras lobster tails. We have Baqueta sea bass. We have Wachinango red snappers. We have, obviously, the California halibut. These are Baqueta sea bass from Mexico, and we have the Faroe Island Scottish salmon. Mm. And a yellowfin tuna that's up there. And just in front, we have the swordfish, salmon, and yellowfin tuna. Do uh, you thanks. do you have a favorite fish yourself? I mean, it's I like it all. I like more uh, of the full flavor. So you're looking at the tunas, the, the the swordfish, the salmon, things of that nature. Just because I've been eating fish for so long, so the mild stuff, I love it. It's just uh, not the okay. So should so. we cut something? What can Absolutely. we do without ruining it? Let me get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you grab that one right there? Oh, which one? This one. No. Oh, food. this one. The big okay. flat. Okay. The halibut. Yeah. The flat. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. it's a lot heavier than you think. <laughs> 
Look at that. Okay, so who wants to... Why don't you do it because you're right-handed. Okay, I'll try. Okay. I'm I'll try. Okay, just remember this way and that way. I'll oh start boy. it for you. How's that? Linda's always better at this stuff than me. She just oh, yeah. has... Cutting fish? How do you know? Uh, no, you're better drive at the all this kind of things, whether it's... <laughs> drive the knife that way. Drive the knife that way. Am I doing it? Yep. Just, so, but all just, the things you're in... You're going that way, so you want to keep going... <laughs> Ready? Yeah, help me, would you? Look at that. Look how well I just did. Wow, that was awesome. Oh, look, look. <laughs> yeah, look how thin it's it is. Nice. No, it's good. Oh, okay. See that? So now you gotta see me at the fish market. I'm cutting all night. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be saying, why is my halibut so thin? Because <laughs> Clint cut it. Now, I just touched this, and I want to taste a bite of this. That's can I do it? Salmon, with the, yeah, absolutely. I, yeah. Okay, so what is this now? This is uh, uh, some? smoked sure. salmon. I'm going to grab it. And we brine it with salt brown sugar and water. We, then mm. we put on a rack, we dry it mm. for 24 oh hours and we put it in the smoke, uh, the smoke uh, house, which is uh, hickory and sugar maple. Oh my God, that's yeah, delicious. So, yeah, that's not good at all. I'm going to have no. an albacore mm. up here too. So we have four different kinds of smoked fish. We have a lox that's up there too. You know, I buy fish yeah. from, from the market there because you can buy it and take it home and that's the place I go to because it's so fresh and good. Yeah. But they also have the, the more casual level downstairs and then you have top of the market upstairs which really has some fine recipes. Yeah, it's beautiful up there. So Staff and Stafford and uh, Francisco do a fine job up there in, in creating different dishes oh, for the, yeah. for the top of the market. Beautiful location downtown. There's also one in Del Mar as well. Uh, TheFishMarket.com is where you can get more information. But thank you for getting up so early for oh, us. Oh, no, absolutely. I, I know you're up here. early every day. No, that's okay. But I love coming down <laughs> here, too. <laughs> and remember, this is the lady, right? <laughs> I something. This is the man. Wait, no. And this is the... The boy and this is the girl. There too. you go. <laughs> yeah. We got educated today. Educated. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. It's always fun.